Uh, from our side at Frontline, we offer uh, great solidarity to Ali in his protest, and we join in the calls for San Mashema to have access to proper medical care. And we call for the freedom of all human rights defenders and political prisoners in Bahrain. Thank you. Free, free Hassan Mushema! 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 Free, free Abdul Hadi! Free, free Abdul Hadi! Free, free Abdul Hadi! Free, free Abdul Hadi! And we are having our monthly protest calling for freedom for our friend and former colleague Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja. Abdul Hadi and Hassan Mashema were part of the same Sham trial, uh, dating back seven years. They were uh, sentenced uh, to life in prison on the basis of fabricated charges. They were denied uh, proper access to lawyers. They were ill-treated. Abdul Hadi's case, he was so badly tortured that they required major surgery on his jaw. And they continue to be held in Bahrain and periodically their um, situation in prison uh, is restricted. Uh, they've had at different times some of their ability to meet with their family restricted. At other times uh, we've had problems around access to medical care and uh, making sure um, that they are properly treated in prison. So thank you very much everybody who's come to support um, the protest today. Free, free Hassan Mushama! Free, free Hassan Mushama! Free, free Hassan Mushama! Free, free Hassan Mushama! Medical care for Hassan Mushama! Medical care for Hassan Mushama! Our message on this first Monday of the month of August is the same as it is every month. It's free Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja, free all the human rights defenders in Bahrain. But we are pleased to also have an opportunity today to support Ali and his, his uh, protest for proper medical treatment for his father. And indeed we call for the release of all the prisoners of conscience in Bahrain. I really regret to see my friend Ali Mushami standing on hunger strike for six days. For six days on hunger strike and his demands, you could read them from there. His demands is so simple. Is he, wants to save his, he wants to save his father who needs vital medication. A man in his 70s who has been denied adequate medical treatment tell you everything you need to know about the truth in Bahrain's prisons. And it's really shame for this embassy and for the ambassador himself for, pop, for issuing a statement that got nothing but deception and lies. Our message to the British government is they need to start acting in line with what their public commitments are. They need to start speaking out more strongly for human rights and they need to use their influence with the Bahraini government to ensure that, first of all, prisoners uh, are given proper medical treatment and secondly that the prisoners are released. Shame, shame, shame on you! Shame, shame, shame on you! Fawaz al Khalifa, 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 shame on you! Shame, shame, shame on you! Shame!